YouTube, gameplay, mutt, weekdays, no weekend leagues. I tell you guys every time I post a mutt game, mutt seasons are sweatier than weekend league. Way more fun to play, and you guys can watch me play these live every night. Twitch.tv slash dub dot. That link is below. Hey, it wouldn't be on YouTube if it wasn't sweaty. Let's get right into this. This game was against my guy Dukes, and I'll tell you, um, he runs a little 3 3 5 wide normal, a little bit different. Everybody's in the box, but the blocking, I'm not used to it. Now, we're, we're used to seeing 3 4, or we're used to seeing 1 4 6. This is a little bit different, so a little bit unsure about your blocking. And right there, he run commits on fourth down. Didn't have a streak, but I never expect somebody to run commit, but we're able to hit the hitch to get that first down on fourth down. Running the ball early, uh, running the ball, and you see Walter Payton getting up out of there, getting busy. Kenny Baja, can he take it? Uh, no, just too many bodies around. They caught up to me eventually. But like I said, running the ball gets you to fourth and shorts. It gets you to uh, third and manageable. So it's just kind of a real football principle. Uh, and, and right there, dump it off to Westbrook. Easy drive for the seven quick early in the game it's always great when you go right down the field when you get seven westbrook is my backup running back i have walter payton have chris johnson and brian westbrook uh at, at this point brian westbrook's pretty much the only card i'm waiting for marcus allen is going to take me to the crib and i do a great job of just making sure i tackle him uh once he already has 40 or 50 yards it doesn't really matter if he gets 60 uh but the next play gets a touchdown anyway and this play right here killed me it's out of tight doubles, this is a formation we don't see too much. Tight doubles is in the Pittsburgh playbook, and it has like a fade to the outside. Now, I, I wasn't ready for that, uh, and it got my cover two right there. Uh, and he's going to have to show me that again before I continue to respect it. But uh, that was something that popped me for a touchdown. But I have to remember that going forward the rest of the game. Little drag route here to Randy Moss. Now, he runs this 3-3-5 three, three, wide normal uh, and just spreads his linebackers. Everybody's in the box, and they blitz. Uh don't know how good it is honestly and i don't I don't want to try to test it we get to a fourth and three we're going to roll out here and hit this corner route but we're not going to get our feet down so we turn the ball over at the end of the first quarter uh don't, not going to get any points here he has the ball again running a little base the one thing about this tight doubles it doesn't have inside zone uh doesn't have a sweep it has a base and base there's a pulling guard so i don't think it's as good as some of the other uh other runs in the game as he hits this little wheel route up the middle of the field Gets uh, inside the 20-yard line, trying to run the base. I'm telling you, that one base was tough, but then here we go again. This is that motion out fade for the touchdown over Ramsey. That's the second time it's got me, and I've had enough. That means the rest of the, he will not get that route again the rest of the game. You have to see what your opponent wants to go to and realize, you know what? He's not getting that again, period. And I'm going to take that away the rest of the game. If he dots me with something else, God be it and tip your cap, but he's not getting that route again. Westbrook, another big run. Westbrook's a little slow. I was mad. I did not have Walter Payton in that play because that could have been a touchdown. We could have had a house call, uh, but instead the next play we throw a pick. The one thing about the dagger route, if you guys are trying to run Trey Y flex, the one thing about it, man, it's hard to throw that dagger route early. You kind of got to wait till he's all the way on the sideline like I do most of the time. That time I do it early. And it caused the overthrow and got picked off there by the corner. So I turned the ball over. So I turned the ball over on downs and I turned the ball over on a pick right there. But I told you, I'm taking away this motion. I'll fade. He is not going to get any more big plays. That's my goal. Get a sack right here. And we're third and 17. I actually give up this post route. Bad user by me. I didn't have to cover the wheel route. I had a quarter zone over there. He was going to be cool. Taylor Mays with a big hit. I mean, when have you guys ever seen me get a fumble? Next play, he's going to try to hit this post, but Pat Pete, my favorite corner in the game, jumps it, and he's looking Baja, but here comes Marcus Allen or Dickerson and wraps me up pretty easily. Uh, that's where I wish I was on conservative, but speaking of conservative, there goes Vic fumbling. First time I ran blast the entire game. First time he got hit. First time he's been tackled the entire game. Fumbles the ball. It wouldn't be a YouTube video without a Michael Vick fumble. So you guys know that by now, and that's where we turn it over. But we get that right back with Calvin Megatron Johnson. That lurker acrobat ability with him is unmatched in the game. Take it back into field goal range. Ten seconds left in the half. I'm going to get greedy. Bust a little run right here. Try to, you know, get something inside the 20. We have six seconds left. We're going all streaks. We're going to give somebody a chance. Julio Jones, streak specialist, knocked away. We're going to take our three. We're down 14 to 10 at halftime. Uh, so turn the ball over twice. 
I, I have a plan on defense, and my plan is we are not giving up that fade route. You are not getting a big play. It's just not happening. Uh, I could like to sit in cover two most of the game. I'll be honest with you guys. That's pretty much my call. I call cover two sink out of 146 pretty much the whole game. If you guys would like a defensive breakdown of the two defensive plays, I run the entire game. I run two defensive plays and adjust out of those. If you want a defensive uh, breakdown, please hit the like button. If this video gets to 500 likes, I will drop a defensive breakdown or plays I use on defense. As soon as this gets 500 likes, he just lasers a corner route over there in front of Jalen Ramsey uh, to get that first down on third down. We're really slowing down the run. Ever since that first run he ran of the day, uh, we kind of bottled that up. And we're bottling up Lamar right here, getting to him. Tries to hit that delay route. No, sir. Uh, right here, we're going to have what a little lurk. Taylor Mays over the middle, same as Calvin. Lurker and Acrobat, I like to double those up. Just makes my guys just make outrageous plays. Uh, right there, we get sacked. First down, um, was looking up top. Could not roll out right there. Second and 19, we're going to get out this time. Uh, look for somewhere to go. Ugh, just didn't read the block right real well that, right there, and I couldn't get as many yards as possible. Next play, he used the rushes, were able to hit the dagger route. T.O. can't get up out of there, gets tackled by Ed Reed, but I'm inside the 20-yard line looking for more. Next play, we put all streaks. He blitzes the hell out of me, sacked in the backfield. Get to a second and 17. Next, I try to roll out. He user rushes, huge sack, gets me to a third and 34. I'm just going to run, concede this drive. I'm going to take my three, 14 to 13. That's something you guys got to do. Sometimes you got to realize... There's no chance I get the first down. And honestly, being down in this game, I could have even spiked it or snapped and do the ball away just to save some time and stop the clock from running because I wasn't going to get a third and 34. So I just ran a real sim-style NFL call right there, conceding the fact that you're not getting the first down. I uh, just got to play defense. I told you I'm learning his scheme. Sometimes people hit you with a new scheme and you have to adjust on the fly. Uh, that's what I did this game. I take away his number one big play pretty much ever since he went up 14 to 7. And there's Taylor Mays blessing the running back again. Uh, right here, he throws a little flat route. And somehow, Calvin doesn't even put his arms out. Uh, he was getting a tackling animation, so Calvin couldn't tackle him. It's just rough right there that he got yards on that. But we're closing in to the end of the game, honestly. He's close to field goal range, runs two dives right there, gets to a third and seven, fringe field goal range. He's going to throw this little hitch and kind of just play for a field goal here. So uh, he's going to get his field goal, um, and honestly, I'm cool with that. Because I got three burners. I got the whole field to go. I got everything at my disposal. Run, blast. I've run blast one time this whole game. Uh, I don't want to run it again because a fumble will kill me. A fumble will end the game pretty much. But I run a little read option. Uh, open and run out. Get the clock running. You guys know that I like to do that. Here we go with a little rollout action. He used a rush off the other side. So he rolled out to the left. Hit that in route. Wish I could have got a bigger play there. Another read option. Whoop! Get up out of there, Walter Payton. Can he buy high? No. We get tackled now. We're definitely going to let the clock run a little bit. Inside 10 seconds, we're going to motion out right here. Look at somewhere to go. Chris Johnson out the backfield. Can't hold on to the ball. Maybe should have Westbrook right there in that situation. Second and 10. I'm going to look at his pass defense. I let him set up his pass defense. Then we're going to go to the blast. We're going to audible. He doesn't change much, and that's cool because we're going to bounce it outside. Beautiful blocking. Take it to the Baja. 30 seconds left. I'm going to wind up being up three points. He needs a field goal to tie. He has all three timeouts. Time to play some defense. No motion out fade. That's my goal. That's pretty much what I need to stop. And that's 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 the plan on defense. We're going to start ratcheting up the pressure. Big tackle right there by Calvin through the blocker. Um, 30 seconds left. He has two timeouts. And we get some pressure. We get a sack. Make him use another timeout. Night train off the edge, making a play. Second and or third and 12. Dodges another sack. Looks deep, but there's that man. Sean T. Strafe up. Pick GG's in the chat. He's going to seal the game. He tried to go deep on Sean T. That's cover two. Um, just getting a lot of pressure. Sending a lot of pressure. Take away that fade. I think, I mean, he, I don't think he completed a pass past 10 yards uh, after I took away that fade. Uh, that was the key to the game. Um, just recognizing it might be a new scheme. You might not see it all the time, but the number one thing with Madden take away what they want to do first that's it 
I mean, and then you move on from there. But if you can take away the number one thing they want to do, uh, and that's honestly a, that's a Bill Belichick thing. I remember Greatest Show on Turf, he took away Marshall Falk. I'm going to take away Falk. He is your number one thing. He is what you want to do. What that guy wanted to do was hit that fade route. So I told him, listen, you're not getting that again. And what I did to stop that, honestly, I turned my cover two kind of into a cover nine in that I had a quarter and a third uh, on this side rather than a cover two because I didn't want to give up that that deep fade on the outside anymore because that was his bread and butter. So that's what I did, man. If you like this gameplay, please hit the like button. If you're loving the channel's content, please hit that subscribe.